What's up, college football fans and Mean Green fans? Snowy Valenta here once again with the Mean Green Show. Today, joined by Miles, and we are going to jump into the latest North Texas recruiting uh, with Frederick Doty being the most recent commit to this 24 class. But before we get into all that, guys, you already know the drill. If you're a fan of college football or G5 football, consider hitting that like and subscribe button because that's truly all that we talk about. Okay, Miles, thanks for jumping on. Uh, just kind of jumping right, in, right into uh, the latest news here. A really big pickup for Eric Morris and his staff uh, in Frederick Doty, safety out of Kinnedale. Um, as of early 2022, held, held a lot of big Power 5 offers from the likes of TCU, Missouri, Tech. Um, and so Utah got in there as well. Um, holds the AAC rivalry uh, offers from UTSA as well as from Memphis and defending AAC champs two lane. So I really feel like this is a solid, solid pickup in the recruiting battles uh, for North Texas being that, you know, you are beating out, um, you, you know, the top tier AAC programs in this case, not including SMU, but again, Memphis, Tulane and UTSA, they're all kind of up there in that, you know, one to four ranking. So really a big win there. I feel like his, his highlight tape, which I'm going to try to remember to leave the link in the description below on that is really impressive. A uh, really physical guy. I know a lot of the coaches were tweeting that when, whenever this commitment was made, and, and it, it really, really backs it up. Um, so I, I, th I think it's a really good addition. I feel like they're going. I don't. I don't know. I feel like they're getting a lot of highly regarded defensive backs in this 23-24 mm -hmm. cycle. Seeing it with you know Taylor Starling and Javion, um, blanking on his last name in the Anderson. Twitter. Javion Anderson, yes, Javion out Anderson, of yeah. out of North Shore. Um, so really can't have an. Uh, you really can't have too many good defensive backs. I mean, it's just, you know, just plug guys in, whether it's special teams or just rotation wise, just really good um, addition here. Hopefully they can hold on to this being that it's only verbal and we'll see how it plays out. But nevertheless, really, really good sign uh, as this summer kind of comes to a close. But Miles, what are your thoughts on, on the latest addition here? Well, I mean, we've got one of the hardest hitters I've watched on film from high school. I mean, this kid was flying over the field making some really hard hits, especially in the, in the, uh, in the backfield. I mean, he was a really quick guy, got to the quarterback fast. If they're doing the safety blitz, I mean, he had also has a really impressive offer list. I mean, TCU and Texas tech were right up there with us with like the on three predictions. Of course, those aren't always right, but it's really cool seeing North Texas beat out some mid to high level uh, power five schools like TCU and tech and Utah and, and all these schools. So, I mean, he, he's also our highest rated player on 24 seven and w what will be on, on three um, in this class so far. And it's only just to rise. I mean, he's going to rise. There's no doubt he's going to, I think he's going to Kennedale high school. Now he was at North Mesquite. I, I'm really impressed. If we can hang on to him, he's going to be, I don't know if you remember when, when Kobe Savage committed to North Texas back two years ago and he decommitted. I hope he didn't decommit like he did, but, Kobe was a great player. This is a remind me of Kobe a little bit in the way he plays. And then this is a, honestly one of our best pickups we had uh, in the under Morris for sure. I mean, I think him and uh, some of those North shore guys you mentioned earlier uh, are some of the top tiers and they're, and they're all in the defensive backfield, which what we need, it's a big position of what we need. So I'm really impressed by uh, coach Morris and, and uh, I think, wouldn't that be Clay Jennings in, in that category? Or would that be uh, someone else that I can't, figure out i don't really know why i think it's clay jennings i think pretty it's sure coach jennings yeah um also you know i'm sure you know the recruiting staff coach owen company had, had a big hand hand in this as well so um yeah great great work great work uh something we haven't talked about here on this on this channel uh jd did interview uh cash mccollum the quarterback uh verbal commit of the 24 class and if you haven't checked that out already be sure to check that out but we haven't talked about it here so cash you know we quarterback is now you know in the boat um, paired with a lot of really good wide receivers. Uh, you know, there's some really spectacular wide receivers in this class right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you haven't already check out their highlight films, uh, whoever's going to be the quarterback throwing to them is going to, you, you know, they're really blessed in the years to come because there, there's a lot of speed. There's a lot of talents Our current before they put, um, you, before they updated our current highest via 24 seven is Jaquez, who is a receiver, um, so just, and you know, really interesting. Yeah. That, that, um, you know, we finally got the QB, so we'll see how that pans out. But what are your thoughts there, Miles, as far as uh, the commitment from cash? Well, he's a winner. 
I mean, he is a winner at China Springs. They they win football there. He knows what it is. He's coming into a program next year that hopefully will have been winning a lot this past year. So, I mean, he he brings a lot. It's our first high school commit since I don't even remember like a true solid commit, not walk on. I think since I think maybe Bryce Drummond is that the last time we had a really a freshman quarterback? Yeah, maybe that's that was, a great. That point. would be twenty twenty. So it's been a while since we've had a true freshman quarterback because we relied on Austin Ani, Jason Bean, big disaster there. But this is a great addition. I think he – and J.D. talked really well about it. He even interviewed him. It was a great, great show with J.D. Um, he has a lot of experience, and he's going to be throwing some good receivers because we still have guys that have a lot of eligibility next year. And then you're bringing in some really talented guys like even Miles Coleman. He's, he's, he's the next Jalen Darden type figure with how big he is. He's the next Jalen Darden in that range, you know. So, I mean, he has a lot of weapons. He will have a lot of weapons. And, um, you know, Coach Brophy is a great, great guy to be uh, coach, coached by. So I think it's going to be a really fun uh, experiment to see if, if he'll stick around. And hopefully he has a great senior year because I know he'll have a great senior year no matter what. Yep. Yeah, it'll be interesting. You know, personally, just being, you know, recruiting advocate and enjoying the um, the show that it is in itself. Really interested to see if, if North Texas, how, how they how this class, this 24 class is going to shake out compared to UTSA's 24 class. I know it can get a little muddy now with the transfers and how do you rank things, but nevertheless, I'm, I'm interested. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how, how this staff can compete with, um, you, you know, the on-field success that UTSA has had. So we'll see how that goes. But anything else we need to touch on before we hop off, Miles? I don't think UTSA will have all those guys uh, signing by the end of the year. I just I just can't see it. They were really talented. I mean, they have some really good guys, including that four-star from Denison, uh, Kenyon Kelly. But there's no way they're keeping all those guys. It's going to be a good recruiting class. That, I mean, North Texas is playing to the same level as SMU. Once these guys get ranked, obviously. Uh, but it seems like North Texas is getting on that wagon of recruiting with UTSA and SMU at the same you know, volume. Because last year at this time, there weren't any. there's nothing happening this time last year. And now they're they're getting more guys in there, more official visits, more you know, or when it's time to do that. And I think it's going to be success on the field. And if I think North Texas will hop over UTSA in the rankings come early signing day, but that's just my opinion, and that's not biased. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, all right, Miles. Well, hey, I appreciate your time, and as always, go mean green. Go mean green.